Chrissy again, and I have another book review for you on Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. Love this book. Love, love, love this book. Pretty, pretty cover, too. Awesome book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, but to be more detailed, the first half of the book is more a 4 or 4.5. And the second half of the book is, like, all caps, 5 out of 5, awesome, awesome. Like, it hits a point, and you can't put it down. I, I, I mean, seriously, I, I went to school with, like, no sleep because I couldn't put it down. And it finally got to a part where I could kind of put it down. Went to sleep, woke up, next day, did, like, no homework after I got back from class because... I couldn't. I had to finish. I had to finish. Had to. Had to know. Love, love this book. Now, I know that a lot of people say that they preferred Crown of Midnight to Throne of Glass. Personally, I give a slight edge to Throne of Glass. However, not downing this book. Awesome book. This is not a letdown by any, any means awesome, awesome book. Also, before I forget, I have a spoil-free written review on my blog, which I will link below. But, yes. Basically, the way I got it was Throne of Glass basically introduces you to the world and to the characters and has its own little story. This book introduces you to the actual story of the series. Like, this book introduces what the whole six books are about. Like, what is the point of all six books? This introduces that. Yes. It is really, really hard to give a synopsis of this book, even if you have read Throne of Glass, even if I'm not worried about spoiling Throne of Glass. FYI, if you haven't read Throne of Glass, go now, because there's seriously, like, nothing I can say about this book that will not spoil Throne of Glass. Honestly, I have a hard time saying something about this book without spoiling this book. So, bye. If you ever read Throne of Glass, go read Throne of Glass now. Awesome. Read it. Anyway, so this is a really hard book to describe. Yes. Let's try it, though. So, Selena has become the king's personal assassin. His champion. He, she is the king's champion. But, she hates the king. But... The king is threatened that if she doesn't do exactly what he says, he'll kill Kaol and Nehemia and Nehemia's family. So, but, what, but, what do you do? So this book starts off at least, well really, this book is all about what do you do? What do you do when being loyal to where you should be loyal gets you killed and being loyal to, you know, staying alive? that kills your soul. <laughs> it's really kind of not a fun choice. She does a pretty good job balancing that. She does. Because it's Selena. If you haven't seen my Throne of Glass review, which I will leave link linked below, I love Selena, and I, I still love her. I love her even more after this book, to be perfectly honest. She, she gets a little... she's even more girly. Not in a bad way. She is still an assassin. She also gets more assassiny. That's not a word. Do you get my point? She gets more badass, to be honest, and also more girly in the same book at different times, obviously. But love, 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 love. Okay, so she's balancing that. There is more mystery, a new mystery, one that is not completely solved. Well, I guess it is. It's solved for the most part. Or first half of it is solved. The first half of it is solved. This book is largely, okay, there's romance and all of that. There's romance and then there's other side plots and littler stories within, obviously, but the big arc of this book is basically a very dangerous and very exciting scavenger hunt. Yes, that is the best way I can describe it. This book is awesome. I would be lying if I didn't say it was a tad frustrating. Okay, whereas in Throne of Glass, we have this whole, okay, there's all these unanswered questions. I want to know this. I want to know that. But they're like, 
they're questions that are hinted at, but they're not really questions that need to be answered. They're background questions. They're things we want to know, not things we need to know. They weren't, it, or we don't need to know them at that point, and they're on the glass. But we want to know them. But we don't need to know them for the point of the story at the point that they are hinted at in Throne of Glass, and Throne of Glass at all. This book doesn't, I mean, it poses some questions. It, it makes you think a little bit. It, it makes you think, okay, I know that that's important, but you're not telling me what the important part is. But what's really in this book, there were times, oh my god, that I would be sitting here and be like, There were times I was like that, like, I wanted to throw the book away, but at the same time, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put it down, like, yeah, because, like, this is the best way, this, this is the only way to think of describe, to describe it. It's like, uh, Sarah J. Moss, like, leads you to a cliff, okay, like, right to the edge, and then, like, give you a little shove, just so that you're teetering on the edge, and then move on and lead you to a different cliff to push you onto that edge until you're teetering without knowing whether or not you've fallen or not on the first cliff. And you're like, what? I don't, I mean, but no, you want to know what's going on on, on the second cliff. You want to know that, but, can, but first cliff, I just, I couldn't, and yes, I'm not articulating very well, but read the book, you'll get what I mean. It's awesome. Now, the end of the book does wrap everything up pretty well. Obviously, second second book in a six book series. It's not going to wrap up everything. There are still some cliffs you're dangling on, but most of it gets pretty well wrapped up. She would just stop it at a part that you're like, now I, now I can't go to bed. Now I can't stop reading because I have to know what happens next. In this part, you're going to give me a little something else first. But then I'm going to get to the end of that part and be like, I got no damage to that part. So in the next part when you're, yeah, I'm going to stop because that's going to start getting really confusing. Read the book. It's an adventure. However, do not start the second half of the book when you don't have time to read. Because you're going to make time. You're going to lose sleep. You just are. Okay. That is it for the non-spoiler section of this.